All right, now watch this. up guys uh, all right so I had somebody uh, ask the question on if this is a daily driver well guys I'm, I'm on my way to work so I don't know if that answers your question but yes this is a daily driver uh, I got my tuning laptop with me you know just to smooth out the the VE table, but other than that, I really don't need it. It runs and drives like normal. Um, I'm at 60 miles an hour, about 2400 RPMs with the Turbo 400. For those of you who are just joining us, um, right now it has decapped injectors in it. Like I said, you know, it drives just like a normal truck, except for when you're in boost. So when you for when you're in boost. That's the only time it doesn't feel like a normal truck. I'm really hoping you guys can hear the, uh, the turbo spool. It, it sounds sounds really good. Here, let me see if I can drop it in a second. You hear the blow off valve and turbo spool. And then the wastegate opens and then it just sounds crazy. Uh, also, let me note that um, the cutout is still uh, still closed. So this is with the cutout open. Thanks again, SPE Labs, for sponsoring this build. This is with the cutout open. You see, it gets a little bit more throw here. Hear that cackle? <laughs> All right, now watch this. still going but yeah I don't I don't have to cut out open all the time you know only when uh oh, I'll make some noise but um so yeah daily driver it's on 93 pump gas it's on a safe tune and uh, that's one of the reasons why I went with a methanol injection instead of you know going E85 because this is just my theory I'm not going to lean on it so much, you know, that it wants to break something. Hold on, I'm going to do a dead stop roll. Ah, oh, spin in there. Okay, what was I saying? Oh yeah, that's one of the reasons why I went with a methanol injection kit. Um, uh, that's no performance. Um, so... E85, you can make a lot more power. Like right now, I'm probably down on maybe, I don't know, 50, 75, 100, 100 horsepower. And um, that's okay with me. Uh, throw it slow. Put it back. Yeah, that's okay with me. Because um, with E85, these are my thoughts. I might be crazy. I may go with E85 when I run it at the track, you know, but as for street driving, as for a street vehicle, right? Um, E85, you're burning it constantly. It uses 20% more fuel, right? So you're burning it constantly, even when you're cruising like this, right? You're, 
cruising, I'm going, you know, 2200 RPMs, I'm not getting on it. I don't need E85 right now. You know, I only need it when I'm in boost. I only need that, you know, the charge cooling and, the, you know, higher octane, really, when I'm in boost. So, and E85 around here is about $3.40 a gallon. So when you do the math, just the simple fact that, you know, I, I do daily drive this truck. to is this you know project truck race truck street truck whatever you want to call it is it a daily driver well i got my kid in the back and we just came to the grocery store to pick up some groceries i'm, I'm not kidding i'm not trying to uh, make a point just for the video but i really took my truck and my kid loves it so Absolutely, it is a daily driver, and it may not get the best grip out on the road, but I can drive it in the rain, I can drive it on dry pavement, I can drive it anywhere, cold weather, it starts up first try, as you can see. And also have a little bit of fun. Roll up the windows. Um, if you guys have any questions, this is going to be a. a um, if you guys have any questions, make sure and comment down below. Uh, we're doing a Q&A series. Uh, I know I did a couple of Q&A videos before. Uh, we're gonna get back to that because I get a lot of the same questions and I'd like to answer it all you know in a video instead of replying the same answer to 100 or 200 people so if you have any questions you know about the kit about the truck about anything comment down below and we'll make a video about it